being an artist is something I never thought that I would do. You know, like growing up, I was like, I drew like stick figures and I was like really bad at it, everything. Like as I grew up, I kind of turned to art as something that I just wanted to do. Even if I was bad at, I just liked it. Anyone can be an artist if you put the time into it. And still like the things that I make, I surprise myself. I'm like, I, did, I had no idea like I could even do that. And it's like something that's so, I've been doing it for a while, but it's just like kind of still fresh to me that I could make these things because I would never in a million years would I think like I would be an artist and, and like make money selling my art. Well, I'm Camila. Uh, I'm 20 years old and I'm a technical senior at uh, University of Central Florida. My, I'm majoring in anthropology and minoring in studio art. And I run a small business out of my student apartment. <laughs> so it's crammed, but it works. I took my first ceramics class in Jamaica and it I was really young I actually never picked up my work I was I just did it and, and left but um, I started taking ceramics again in high school I was introduced into the ceramics club into the wheel and I found that I was most calm like at the wheel and because nobody's it's like outside nobody's there and you have to focus on one thing so you can't think about anything else while you're on the wheel so I just kind of found it as like a safe haven and I would this is really bad but like I would skip my classes and just like go to the pottery wheel and just fell in love with it um, I joined the ceramics club I became the ceramics club president and I was really involved with like school activities and school sales and stuff and then uh, after I graduated high school I um, joined a studio in Hollywood, Florida, called MIY Ceramics, and I was a member there for a while before I left to college. And then I found a studio in Orlando right when I right when I moved here. But I usually go to the studio to do bigger projects. What really like captured my interest in doing ceramics was that like I made my first bowl in a ceramics class and I had run it underwater and I saw the water like in the bowl and I was just like wow I want to make more things that can hold more water. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate a lot of different arts like um, like Chinese pottery my Grandmother is always giving me um, kind of family heirlooms of just like Chinese uh, pottery, like dishes, vases. Um, and I want to draw more inspiration from them and I'm still trying to find my style. Like if you look at my page and like what, what I make, it's a lot of just like random stuff and you can tell that I'm still trying to find like my niche, like just like what I'm, what I'm really, want to focus on you know so I do like I, I'm trying a lot of things and trying to find my style find, trying to find the thing that I want to stick with but for now it's just I'm kind of trying everything um, but mostly functional stuff like I do a lot of jars and plates and bowls and stuff but I I'd want to get into like wall hangings and like sculptural pieces and I just Sometimes I just think like, what am I gonna use this for? Like what, you know, might as well have a purpose for it. So most of my art is just all functional. A piece will take a minimum of one to two weeks. It really depends on um, how much time it takes, the complexity of it. Um, but a lot of people don't know the, the time that goes into it that's not just working on it. It's a lot of drying, it's a lot of waiting for it to fire, and then you have to fire it again, and then you have to, you know, paint it. And it's just, it's a lot of stuff that people don't take into consideration. Um, but I do price according to what 
if I have physical contact with the work. So if I'm not like, I don't charge by the time I'm like waiting for it to dry or fire. I just, if it takes me like three hours to make something, that's how much I'll charge based on that. And, um, and even then I'll kind of go back and think, how much would I pay for this? And I'm very thrifty, so a lot of my things are, are, are on the lower end. And I also work with people with their budget, so if you know, someone will come, with, come to me and ask me to make them something, I'll ask them their budget and I'll work with them because it's more about, while I do want to make a living and I do want to you know, pay for my groceries and stuff, I also want people to have my art and support um, just like what I'm tr trying to get across instead of just making money. I do follow a lot of people that that um, are professors at like art academies and a lot of um, figure sculptures. So just like figure study classes, um, which I want to do, but I'm not there yet. I feel like I want to do so many things in my life and I'm just like, I don't know how to just get it started. Like, I just imagine myself doing so many things, but I'm like, I gotta pick one or two or three.